Hey there folks, Peter here from Black Rock Business in the middle of a blizzard. Thought I'd show you today how you can upload scans from the scanner to the inventory screen. Don't forget to click on the link down in the description below so that you can get over to our Facebook group, join up there and get some great answers. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. Oh my gosh, I'm cold. Okay, first thing we need to do is count the store. So you are going to use your Cypher Lab inventory scanner. You're going to go to number one, collect. The blue button is kind of like the enter button. Now it's waiting for a scan. The orange button is going to help us scan the items. That'll have the laser. Then as soon as you scan an item, it's gonna say quantity one, but you can save yourself some time by actually uh, counting everything on the shelf that's the same and then entering in the actual quantity So quantity 80 on this item. I just counted on my shelf. Of course I Hit the blue button and it's waiting for the next scan. I'm gonna quickly scan up all the items in my store and uh, s The appropriate counts that I count on each shelf of these items. So of course this is just a pretend store But I'm gonna do it real quick Now that I'm done counting my store, I'm gonna hit the escape key back to the main menu. And on the point of sale up here, I'm gonna go on the inventory menu down to start physical inventory. Uh, there are some counts in here already. So it looks like I previously had count started a count. Uh, I'm gonna go on the I want to menu and clear counts and restart just to make sure my screen is totally blank. Of course, you're gonna have hundreds or thousands of items on this screen that you are counting in your store with the scanner. Uh, usually people ask me at this point, you know, I have some of this item up front and I have some in the back stock, in the storage, in the closet, out in the storage unit, I don't know. But they have the same product in multiple places. Don't you worry. You can actually uh, go through your store sequentially, scan every item, if you scan the same item in the front and then you also scan a, another quantity in the back, it will combine those quantities together when we upload. So here on the physical inventory screen, I am going to go on the I want to menu and I'm going to go to add counts from scanner. This first screen is gonna tell you how to plug in the cradle. Uh, if you need help with installing the driver for the cradle because it's not seeing it or it's not connecting correctly Go ahead and give us a call. We do offer that service remote driver install I'm gonna hit next here. The screen's gonna tell us go to go to number two upload which I do now and I can hit the blue button it's gonna say connecting just like it shows on the computer screen here and then I'm gonna put it in the cradle so as soon as it says connecting and it's in the cradle, I'm gonna hit next. This is going to upload all the scans from my scanner. Obviously on your scanner, it's probably gonna be thousands or hundreds of records. It's gonna take a while. Now this is a very important screen. Right when it gets done uploading, it tells you there are 10 new scans or however many you have. Now I have nine good scans and one bad scan. What does that mean? Well, I didn't tell you, but while I was scanning my store, I had an item in there that actually wasn't in my point of sale. And uh, this is gonna be very important to look at how many bad scans you have. You're gonna hit close. It's going to immediately bring you to the unrecognized scans tab. And I'll tell you what this means because at first you might not understand what it's showing you here. I scanned an item in my store that actually wasn't in my point of sale. You may have bad scans if you scan something that's not in your point of sale. It could be like a product that never got entered into your point of sale. Uh, this also happens when certain products have multiple barcodes on them. Sometimes they have a serial number barcode. And so maybe you scanned the wrong barcode. This can also happen if the UPC code gets scanned and uh, that UPC actually isn't entered into point of sale. Maybe you're using zebra labels instead. And I should have pointed out, uh, when I was scanning my pretend store here, I was scanning all UPC labels that were in my point of sale. You can scan UPC 
barcodes and you can also scan the zebra tag barcodes both of those will work and you can actually intermingle those that'll be fine now back to this screen what does this mean unrecognized scans so you actually get to see what is the good scan before and the good scan after the bad scan and it shows it to you in this manner because if you go out in your store and you find okay I'm gonna go in my store and find the peanut butter dark choco bar on the shelf and then I'm gonna look at the choco chip Z bar on the shelf and then I'm gonna look right between those two items because if I was scanning them sequentially then whatever is in between these two good scans should be my unrecognized item and in that manner I can identify what it is jot it down on a notebook and then I will be able to investigate and find that item and enter the count for that. Now there is a button down here that says print unrecognized scans. I usually recommend against that because that's actually going to print out every single scan, good or bad. And in your case with thousands of items, that could be like 60 pages of printing. It's gonna be a big waste of paper. You can print it to a PDF if that helps you out, but I usually recommend people just stay on the bad scan screen until they've identified all of the unrecognized items, just jot them down in a notebook. And then when you're done with that, you're going to flip over to the item scans tab. The item scans tab is all of your good scans, all of the ones that you want to upload into your point of sale. And so I'm going to select them all and I'm going to save selected. That is going to add them to the counted column. I'm going to talk about columns in just a moment here. Once again, it's going to ask us if we want to print unrecognized scans. I usually recommend no. All right, now what does this screen mean? Have you been here before? Have you done this on paper, which is terrible? Then you might be a little familiar with what's going on here. The three important columns are the expected column, the counted column, and the difference column. The expected column is what you currently have in stock. It's what point of sale thinks you have according to its database. It thinks that I have this many of these items in stock right now, but we can see that after I scanned with my scanner and uploaded, uh, my counts were a little bit off. Point of sale was a little bit off, and that's kind of the point of this procedure is to get your numbers right on. So I counted 80 of these, which is fine. That was right on. So point of sale had it right. Now in this case, I only counted 64 with my scanner, so it was negative one off. That was the difference. The scanner counted 89 of the veggie straws, and point of sale thought I had 85 and so we had four more than point of sale thought we had so this is gonna update to being a correct number now once you go through you might want to take a look on this screen at any high number differences uh, there may be a problem with that item your employees might be ringing it up on the wrong item sometimes or maybe you have a receiving problem and that item did not get received correctly and so it brought the number way off so in this case, the, count, the scanner counted 358 and point of sale thought we had 400. So either that's being sold somewhere else or people are stealing it possibly. Now, you'll notice that this uh, counted blank right here is blank. Uh, there was no count for this. That means I went through my entire store, I scanned everything with the scanner, none of these got scanned. Uh, they either are all gone, lost, stolen, or broken, or people are giving them out, who knows. But this did not get filled in. Now you may also have some negatives in your expected column, which means that you probably didn't receive the item, but then you sold it into the negative. At the end of uploading your scans and investigating your bad scans, if you do find any bad scans and you've identif identified the product, you can use the search bar up here and look for that product. So in this case, I'm looking for caramel something. You can pretty much type anything you want in there and it'll bring up any products that have it in the name or description or any other field. And it's like, oh, yep, there it is, that's the one. So if you hit select, it'll bring you right to the correct line and you can enter what that bad scan count was. However, when you get all done and you believe that your counted column is totally filled with everything that you counted in your store and you haven't missed anything, then one of the final things that you're going to do is check this little checkbox down here which is going to set all items that were not counted to zero. 
That means if this is an orphan item and you no longer possess this product anymore, this check mark down here is going to zero it out. It will also bring all the negatives that are in the negative that you of products that you don't have anymore, it'll bring those up to zero. So very importantly, you're gonna check this at the end. Otherwise, you're gonna have all sorts of numbers still in your database that are invalid. They're either products you don't have anymore or they're products that are in the negative. And I'm going to give you a warning. If you show up on the inventory screen and this is already checked, then it's not gonna do anything. You need to uncheck it and recheck it and watch it fill in the zero so that you're all set. Now we have some totals down here. It's gonna tell you how many products and quantities were more than we expected, as well as how many items have negative quantity, cost, and price negative, less than we expected. So uh, the final thing you're gonna do is apply changes to inventory, but I will point out that you can use the save and continue button to leave this screen if you hit save and continue, it just kind of saves your progress. If I hit close, it brings me back to my point of sale. I can do whatever I want. I can investigate an item and find why, find out why it's way off by looking at its history. Uh, if you really want to get into it, you can do that. Then I'm going to hit inventory and come back to start physical inventory. All of my progress is saved, so I'm still here. And I'm going to apply changes to inventory. So adjustment memos will be created. We want to do this? Yes. One quantity adjustment memo is generated, and that is the memo that brought my counts to being correct to what is in the counted column. If you would like to, you can save to a PDF or print out a physical inventory differences report. That's fine. Or a detail report on all item counts. I'm going to skip doing that. You can check that out yourself. It's just a, a sheet that shows you th what the change was. Now, if you screw up on your physical inventory somehow, you still can go on the inventory menu to the quantity adjustment history, and there will be entries in here that say reason physical inventory. If you have like two or 3,000, it's going to write these in amounts of 500, so you'll probably see it quite a few of them. Like if I had 3,000 changes, then I would actually see uh, six lines that are sets of 500 a piece and you can reverse these if something went wrong so that would get you back to where you started now back looking at the scanner if i uh if i see right when i upload it here it's going to ask us if we want to delete all the data i'm going to recommend against deleting all the data because that's all of your hard work of you know counting your entire store so uh, i usually tell people hit cancel this way you still have the scans for your entire store in the scanner. If something goes wrong, you can redo that whole procedure and make sure it gets fixed up right. After your store is running good for a few days and it seems like the counts are right on and everything's you know where it should be, then you can go on the scanner to option number three, utilities. Then you can go to delete data. Oh. Delete data. And then delete all data and yes, and that will actually clear out your scanner. Everything is clear now and my scanner is deleted. People will have to do that who have multi-store in between each store. You wanna make sure to do that. I did have a customer uh, upload one store into itself and then go to their second store, scan everything in that store and they forgot to clear their scanner. So at the second store, they actually uploaded all of the totals for both stores into the second store. That was crazy. Luckily, we were able to reverse it, but they did have to scan their entire second store again. Uh, that's about it. That's the, I, I guess it's 15 minutes now, but that's kind of how you do it with the scanner and uploading into your physical inventory screen. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself an excellent day.